Good morning, and welcome to Dog Man. My name is Mike, and it's Sunday, the 14th, I think, of April, 2024. And now that you know what the day is, and the year, because it ain't often I know that, well, let's get started. What am I going to do today? I don't know. Probably start building my cabinets. But we will see. I've got to dig. I've got to locate a bunch of tools. My finish nailer, my nails, my finish nails. All, a lot of that is still packed away in totes, which are in the shed, which are easy accessible. I just got to go dig them out. In fact, I think the finish nailer is hanging up. Must have must have been sick that day to put somewhere where it belongs. I, I don't know. So. Got to find all that before I even begin, but I got to go to the grocery store because, you know, old Mother Hubbard. Hey, I'm building cupboards. I'm going, old Mother Hubbard. Yeah, that works. All right, man, I got to get something on this wall, guys. I can't handle that blank wall there. I don't know. I have to come up with some shelves or something. How about a train set that goes up and down, up and down constantly driving you nuts as I'm talking we could do that so I'm thinking this morning let's talk about some cabinets and that's a subject isn't it when's the last time you had a cabinet uh, discussion if you've looked in the you know a lot of most people go to the Home Depot the Lowe's and they buy the cabinets already made and uh, most of them, I mean, you got to pay big money for the quality made ones. But a lot of them are just junk. And I guarantee you, I can build them a whole lot stouter than what you could buy. And I'm building them out of scrap wood. Pretty much. I'm going to have to because I'm out of the big thick ones. I'll have to use the ones I've tore out. Got plenty of wood. Not going to be a problem. And if, I, and if I don't have enough. I've got those sawmill pine 2x4s that I could use to frame it with that are in the building. I got to get rid of that lumber so I can get it get in that building and finish it, but I think I'm already too late. Um, I just really need to get in there and mud and then I can get start organizing it. I'm not going to go too fancy with it. But I've got to run some electric there as well. And that I'm not looking forward to because that requires digging. I've got to bury a line. Either that or run it up top. I don't really want to run it over top, overhead. Uh, so we'll just bury it. But I do got the auger. And the auger helps with that digging. But that is a very, very rocky hill where I have the building. I mean, it's just rocks everywhere. So that is not going to be fun. I mean... Yes, I'm going to be powering that building with my power banks and stuff, solar, but not for the air conditioner. It will have to have an air conditioner in it if I'm going to work out there in the summer. And, you know, don't have enough for that. I'd be charging those things every... It just, there isn't enough. They, they suck a lot of juice. Uh, <laughs> they're not going to work. What I got right now ain't going to work unless some company out there wants to send me a giant solar bank you know six foot tall one then i might be able to get something to work but i already got the air conditioner i just have to get a uh, you know electric and i you know if i've already got electric i, I just I'm, I'm at my limit really i only have 100 amp service here so i can i can run three air conditioners at once that's the thing there's going to be one running in the dog apartment there's going to be one running in the house there's going to be, but that's not going to be running all the time, just when I'm in there. So we'll be all right. And what I have to do is run, there's an outer panel. I have to run a line from it. Uh, I had the fifth wheel hooked up to that when I was, you know, when I had it. So I know it'll work. A breaker's already out there. I'll just run a 50 amp breaker. I don't know what I'll do. We'll figure it out. Well, I ain't working on that right now. I'm working on today. I'm going to start framing out the cabinet, see where I can get with that pretty simple i mean you just figure out what design you want you frame it and then you cover it in cedar and then i line the walls with cedar everything's lined in cedar and what's nice about that is that if you're you know 
you're washing dishes and this cup's a little wet, you just throw it in there, upside down, let it drain on the cedar. It won't hurt the cedar at all. I gotta fix this camera where it doesn't go off on me. It's not actually going off, the, the screen's going off. You know, I gotta see where I'm at in the picture. So yeah, you just, I'm just gonna cut the, the pieces, frame it out right on the wall. Um, if you've seen the thumbnail, that is when I built the cabinets for the kitchen that are already in there. All I'm doing is making some smaller ones that'll match those. Um, I'm thinking of changing those up a little bit, but I'm going to do a little test and see what it looks like. I don't know. And if I'm going to do a kitchen remodel, I'm going to get it all done, leave no stone unturned, and I want it to look good. And... Already, I can tell you, I was in there making, I had to make a couple of tuna fish sandwiches last night because that was all I got. You know, yeah, I got all that food in there. But that's, that, you know, I don't want to make all spaghetti and stuff like that right, you know, late at night. Made a couple of tuna fish sandwiches and I used the new counter. And that was nice to have all that extra room. Uh, it was real nice. Uh, the tongue oil, if I can describe that smell to you right now. It's like 85 oranges. Busted in here last night. Got drunk. Got in an argument. Got into my knife set. And started slicing each other up. And there's citrus juice everywhere. It smells like a battleground. Of some wayward angry oranges. I don't know how long it's going to smell like that. But it ain't bad. It just it keeps your nasal passageways clear. <laughs> but anything citrus, I, you know, I don't, I, it, it's, somebody said it's from a tongue tree in China. Why does everything always got to come from China now? Can't we grow our own tongue trees? That's got to be a funny looking tree. we got a bunch of tongues hanging off of it. Man, what do you walk by the tree and you're like, come on guys, settle down, settle down. Walk by my underwear. Maybe it's a girl tongue tree. Uh, we could have a couple girl tongue trees out here. I don't know. Do they come in girl and boys? Or are they transvestalites? I don't know what they are. It's a tree. How'd I get off that subject? I don't know. So has everybody gotten used to the channel change? There has been no change. It's exactly the same. We just swapped the names. I even worked on the, the logo for the other channel. I kind of spiffed it up, put a new one on there. I think I put a new banner on this channel. You, know, you, you make a change, you got you to gotta spruce it up a little bit. So that's what we did. Thank God I don't make merch and dice. I hate that word, merch. Never going to use it. Thank God I don't have hats and all that. So I never will. I'm not in all that. Uh, I've, I've explained that before. I'm not going to team up with some company that's going to charge somebody $30 for a hat or $50 for a t-shirt that is cheap and won't last. And, I, and my profit margin would be hardly anything. You know, you, you can make your profit what you want with that stuff, but it's, ain't nobody wants, I don't expect anybody to pay $50 for a t-shirt. That is crazy. So I am not that greedy. I don't need it that much where I have to sell merchandise and, and screw people. And that's all it is. I don't care what channel's offering it. You're paying way more than that stuff costs to make. And that's just how it is. So I will never be offering that unless I have the capabilities to make it myself. Um, I seen that Samcraft channel. And somebody sent him this embroidery machine, man. This guy's got the cool stuff. That's how I'd love to have my building. He's got an embroidery machine now that you can make hats and anything that's embroidered. That's pretty cool. I mean, these companies are sending him twenty, thirty thousand dollar machines, but he's that guy is very good at doing reviews. I mean, he's very thorough. Hell, every, anything he does on that channel. But uh, he needs to lose some weight. He does. He is really getting big. Uh, he's a whole lot bigger than me. That guy's got to be going 400 pounds. I hate seeing a young person like that, that weight. When I was his age, I was nowhere near that weight. I was always, I was never overweight until I retired. You know, until I hurt my back. 
when you're working, you ain't got time to gain weight. But now there, it's a different world. A lot of these young people are working at home, working from home. They're putting on the pounds. The food is different. You know, so they they have to really watch what they do. You know, I, I would imagine that guy's not more than 30, 35 years old. And smart man, good channel. He's got two good channels. But yeah, his. I was looking at him watching a video the other day. He's just puffed out. They need to watch it at that age or they're not going to make it to my age. Uh, and that goes to any young. I am not afraid to tell people they are overweight. Because it's hard, man, when you get my age. It's easy to get rid of it when you're younger. But when you get to be in your 50s, 60s, it's hard to get rid of it. Very hard. So I'm sure, you know, the cakes and all that garbage and the sodas and all that's going in their house. And that's... That's 70% of households today. All right, I've rambled enough. I put a video up last night, so we'll make this one kind of short. Uh, if you didn't see it, I took you in there and showed you my butcher block countertop. Still got one more to do. I'm going to finish this one first, get the cabinets up, get the vent hood up, get the wall finished. Then we'll do that one, and then I'm going to put in an arched doorway uh, in there. That's going to look real nice. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for understanding the channel swap. Hey, in a few days, we won't even know what happened. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.